Hey, welcome back to another episode of the 900. My Rogue Tech, sorry, that's like the second episode in a row I've done that. My Battletech Flashpoint series. Can you tell I've been playing Rogue Tech? Um, so I'm going to take on a one and a half skull mission today. We got going to launch the contract. We just took it from another planet, got free travel here. Um, there's no store on this planet, unfortunately, so we can't look to see to buy stuff. But um, we are getting sort of max salvage on this one. So let's launch this contract. And we're going to bring in the commando with Owl this time um, and deploy and see if we can get this done. Okay, so we're supposedly taking on a heavy lance of pirates here. Let's see what we're dealing with. All right, so usually there's a mech over here, a couple over here, and then one down over here somewhere. So we're going to engage this way, I think. Let's get up ahead. Got contacts already. Let's get in here. So we got to remember that Owl doesn't have jump jets. I think I want to try and utilize the jumping in and commando tactics more and more on this particular uh, one, just to get used to the the uh, jumping in and out. I think more so than Rogue Tech, I can't really end up with in a brawl bot situation here. Took some sig significant damage last episode against the Light Lance, and it shouldn't have happened. Um, I blame it completely on my on my playstyle. Uh, I'm so used to Rogue Tech. That's my that's the problem. So I'm going to have to really pay attention to what I'm doing here. Oh, uh, crap. Looks like, enemy Looks like enemy reinforcements. Spider. Let's see if we can kill these guys fast here. So let's take on the spider. He's got ball work, but not much I can do about that. Warning. Enemy sensor lock. And they got a sensor lock. Okay, so this is... That's a sprint, can't do that. Got to keep remembering that. So, four medium lasers on this guy. What do we got here? Down a locust, okay. Take this. I have a feeling we're going to be jumping a lot in this mission. So we're really going to have to utilize the terrain here. Forest, the hills, everything. So that's a Vindicator, large laser, and LRM-5. Either that or it's like a Shadowhawk or something like that. Um, Got to jump. Moving into here. Going to fire straight on this guy. Good to go. Nice. Yes, Commander. Can we see this guy? Just barely from there. So we're going to move in. Got a larger medium laser on this guy. Fire them both. Targeting for an alpha strike. Ah, not quite enough to kill him. That's alright though. Okay, a vehicle. Not too worried about vehicles. Unless of course they're like all LRMs. You've got nothing. You hear me? Don't say that. Just going to get your ass in trouble. So the guy on the far right over here, down past that uh, building structure, is another vehicle. We need to kill eyes on. I'm barely scratched. Don't just stop. Just please stop saying things like that. What can I do for you? Just gonna die. Eighty percent chance. So we're gonna jump in here. And we're going to do a precision strike on this guy because I want him to not be shooting at us and not getting away. Right, Commander. Okay. He's going to be stuck there for the rest of our guys to fire at him. Didn't see what that was. That's a panther. Damn it, PPC hit. Yikes! That hit hard. Yeah. They kind of do, buddy. They kind of do. Okay, we're going to wheel a little bit to the left here, I think. Let's 
fire on this guy. Damn it. Okay, we really gotta decide what we're gonna do here. There's four guys down there. I'm thinking we, we wheel, wheel back to the right now. Got a lock on me. Yeah, I know, he's doing sensor locks. The jerky jerk. Let's move back here. Pretty good chances to hit. Do a little bit of moonwalking, target this guy. Uh, 45 CT, we might get lucky and kill him. Firing all weapons. Nope, still bulwark though. That's commando, right? Yeah, 1B. Not a lot of armor on that guy. Looking to get himself killed over there. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Gonna move to here. Firing on this guy. Hopefully we can kill him. Damn it. Really, really... Look at this guy, he's like a shell of like... <sighs> yeah, Shadowhawk 2D. Okay, we're pulling back. We're gonna start wheeling to the right now. Back and to the right. What is that? Oh, I keep forgetting these mechs are bigger than this uh, version. Looks like a griffin. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, you need to get out of there. I don't think there's much we can do here. We may have to withdraw from this one. But let's try it. I mean, we took maximum salvage. Ah, at least it's free repair, pretty much. Let's see if we can uh, take some guys out, at least get something out of this. Okay, so we're limited to one skull missions then, right now. Okay, so, you need to be out of there. Really low chances to hit. Better on this guy. So let's jump back, put our right side on those guys. Ah, should I go this road or not? We're way overheating because of the jump jets, that's crazy. Just gonna brace here. That's the thing. I think I don't like about jump jets is the over, way overheating. Okay, they all miss, which is good. Panther's going next. Yes, Commander. Let's get up here. Something like that. Fire on this guy. Better chances to hit. For an alpha okay, there goes his left arm, which I don't think he has anything in it anyway. Alright. Here comes that locust. He's gonna sensor lock again. Yep. Standing by. Thirty and twenty. Seventy five fifty five. So let's move back here. Gonna fire on that commando again. Maybe we can burrow through his side this turn. Let's see how you like this. Nice. Nice. Okay, my Vindicator might be able to multi target these guys. No, he gets to move first, that's right. I don't blame you, buddy. Oh, you're coming in. Oh, you're coming into visual range. Okay. Wow. Damage is light. 
there really is nothing I can do about the damage. It's just the number of guys, right? So before we start taking major losses here, I am going to pull back to here. I don't have multi-target yet, but we're going to fire on mm, 65. We hit this guy's CT, he's done. It's the same with this guy though. Let's try and kill this guy. Okay, there's that guy gone. Okay. Let's see what these two medium mechs do to us. Alright. We're gonna sprint it to the right. Took a hard hit there. I see that. The sprinting will give us some cooldown time. If we can take out the command on the two vehicles, we can probably bail from this mission. Comes another vehicle. Missiles coming in. They're probably strikers. Just got lucky. You did get lucky. Alright, so let's get you out of here. Get to a point where they can't really shoot you with anything. Sprinting's not going to help. Come back here. Yeah, we can't take the sustained damages. There's no way. Commander. Twenty-five percent with the medium lasers. Um time to fly. Time to cool off. There's no way we can handle sustained damage on this. Moonwalk confirmed. Firing a full salvo. Okay, two hits. Or was it two hits? Reporting critical hit. Yep, two hits. Oh, the commander's decided to come back for a uh, sacrificial lamb. No, I know. We're out of here. Gonna have to rethink my playstyle on these. Okay, we're firing everything at this guy. Wow. Okay, before we start to lose a mech here, let's uh, bail. Yep, we're withdrawing. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Did not expect those reinforcements. If I knew they were coming, I would have gone this way. Don't think it would have made that much difference overall. Internal structure damage. Yeah, I see that. So we're gonna take a chance 
to kill that commando. Damage minimal. And then we're leaving. So let's get Rhea. Where can we get you to a point where you can take a shot at this guy? Let's fire on him. Yeah, make sure you hit all the places that we haven't hit yet. Good call. Jesus. Getting a pace thing here. Yeah, we're leaving. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're going. Hmm. Let's get you up here. See if we can take this guy down. Firing everything. All weapons are go. There we go. Now we can leave. That's a kill. That'll give us a chance for some kind of salvage anyway. All right, we're withdrawing. You heard the commander. Yep, don't care that we're withdrawing. I don't want to lose any mechs. Don't want to lose any pilots. We just could not fight a battle of attrition there. Withdraw a bad faith effort, really. So we got nothing out of it. Congratulations. Oh, we got to choose one thing. Isn't that great? We got commando part, spider part. Cool. I don't feel so bad now. Although we're gonna have to repair our mechs. Problem is, I got my mind in like a rogue rogue tech mindset right now. Wow, look at the lag. Um, I got my my mind in a rogue tech mindset right now, which is making it like I gotta rethink how I I'm playing the game. Uh, I remember switching from battle tech into rogue tech and feeling this exact same frustration. So I just have to start get, getting into a stride here, uh, having a hard time with this. So um, let's look at the mech bays real quick. And we do have some repairs to do here. 2400, 600, and 1800. Not too bad, not too bad at all. It is seven days of repair, but we still haven't even got to our first financial report yet. So we're still okay. Um, we can sell a little bit of stuff too if we had to. Um, but let's get our uh, mechs repaired anyways until the next uh, financial report here. Um, so what's this? Industry politics impact everything they touch, even down here in the periphery. Flashpoints between the great houses are developing all over the map, and our faction reps are paying good money to resolve them. We're talking about high-risk, high-rewarding jobs composed of multiple combat drops with rewards at the end to match. I'll post any active flashpoints on the star map, Commander. You can review them whenever you're ready. Okay. So we're not ready to do flashpoints yet, since I still need to work on uh, getting my fighting style going. Um, so if we look in, there's nothing in the store here, right? I just forgot all about that. I was going to say look in the store for what's there, but... Uh, yeah, so let's have a look uh, contract-wise on this planet. Yeah, so it's like two and a half skull planet. So we're not really... I, I think we really need to pay attention to um, what the planets are like before we go anywhere. Uh, actually, is, there might, I'll, we'll have a look next next episode to see if there's anything here we can do. If not, we'll have to leave the planet and suffer a, a financial report before we get to... Uh, where we're going but uh yeah if you, if you like the episode please drop a like if you have any if you have any suggestions please drop them down in the comments um i'm open to just about anything i like i said i've been playing rogue tech far too long so my play style is far is different and i do remember switching over to rogue tech and feeling the same frustration so i'll have to kind of get back into the regular battle tech mode of things um but yeah if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe if you haven't checked out my uh Rogue Tech series, uh, Cold Forge, please feel free to do that. And I've got another series before that too uh, that you can check out. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you all later.